Welcome back, ancient warriors, brothers and sisters. I hope you are having a marvelous day today. And this is a marvelous day for me because the Limit One Festival has been announced. And as the name implies, you can only use one copy of every single card in the game. So you're not going to see any shenanigans with Triple Ash Blossom or Triple Maxi or anything like that. Only one single copy of every single card that you could think of. And what better way to celebrate this Limit One Festival than with my boys, the Ancient Warriors. I have included every single Ancient Warriors card in this deck, even the underappreciated ones like uh, Jia Wan and Lu Jing and Zhou Gong. So I'm so excited to be able to see the whole family in one location. So I tried my best to make this playable. Uh, it's definitely theoretical right now. I tried to make it as good as possible, but with only one single card, you know, available for each, consistency is definitely going to go down, but I really don't care. I want to see every single card in this deck work together, and maybe we can get a couple wins off. I also included a couple of other engines you're going to see, like the Tri Brigade engine to give me some link plays. And Cyberstein because, uh, you know, why not? It's just one single copy and maybe it'll win me the game. But the satisfaction of seeing all these guys in one deck finally together, it's, it's immense. So let's take a look at what monstrosity I've created. And let's see during the festival if I can get any wins with it. <laughs> so I included the whole Tri Brigade engine, which is going to be Nerval, uh, Karis, Fractal, Kit, Revolt, uh, Bear Brum, Rugal, uh, Ferret, and Shurag. That's a pretty big engine, to be honest. But, you know, it's only one copy of each, so there's definitely room available since uh, the Ancient Warrior's core actually isn't that huge when there's only a single copy of each. So I think additional engines are really nice to have. And the Tri Brigade engine will give you link plays. It's going to give you access to Shurag, possibly, with all the Beast Warriors in this deck. Uh, Tri Brigade Ancient Warrior normally is a pretty good variant, so, you know, why not play it here? So, Cyberstein is a fun little card that I added. Uh, pay 5,000 life points to special summon a fusion monster, and my fusion monster of choice is going to be Nicturia Exterior. Really powerful card. Basically, it'll stop spell and trap cards uh, by banishing cards from my graveyard and sending the top card of my deck. So, it's almost always going to be live. And, you know, I hope to see it during uh, my games. So I think Cyberstein would be an interesting turn one. You know, possibly if they don't stop him or anything, I think having a nature exterior on the field would be really good. Max C, I did include a couple of staples. Max C and Ash Blossom, of course. And then Tin Goldfish. So why did I include this? When this card is normal summon, you can special summon a level 4 monster from my hand. And the only function that this has is to, well, facilitate you know, link plays and possibly rank 4 plays. But also it is a water. It is a water attribute. And there I have three. I have three different level 4 water monsters. And do you know what that means? That means Bahamut Shark. And Bahamut Shark means totally awesome. So that could be another potential line of play. So that's why I included a Tin Goldfish. I think it'd be a really good addition to the deck, and it can help me swarm the field and make some different plays. I have Zodiac Thoroughblade. He's making a return. If you guys have noticed in my other videos, I kind of dropped him for other staples. But, you know, one copy, you know, why not? Why not? He gives me access to Borbo and Dryden's and then possibly a Zeus. So we'll see what happens there. And then finally, here is the main dessert the main course of the evening it's going to be every single ancient warriors card <laughs> it's so satisfying seeing them all together so swanmo of course the leader the best one the best level four uh everyone knows what he does already i've explained many many times but having him at only one copy definitely hurts but hey you know that's the point of only you know limit ones so Gong, he is going to be a Similar, 
He's kind of similar. He's useful because he is a water type, you know, potentially for the Bahamut Shark and totally awesome. But you can target one continuous spell and trap you control, send it to the graveyard, add an Ancient Warrior spell from the deck to the hand. And he also has another effect. If an Ancient Warrior activates its effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls and negate its effect. So he is potentially useful in the main deck, like if it was a normal, you know, normal not restricted deck. But I'm not too big of a fan. I think he just doesn't do enough, especially since he has to specifically get rid of a continuous spell or trap. And for example, Swan Mo, he doesn't need to do that. He just needs to send a card from anywhere, hand or field, to the graveyard. So that's usually why I don't include uh, this guy, but here is a perfect place for him. So if I can send something to the graveyard, I could add one of the many Ancient Warrior Speller Traps from the deck. And I think I have like five or six of them because I included the trap cards this time. So he's much appreciated and possibly a monster negate. And then Eccentric Lu Jing. Wonderful. Target a continuous Speller Trap to... I control, send it to the graveyard, and then add an Ancient Warrior, spell or trap with a different name from your graveyard to the hand. So I think, in my opinion, not as useful. But here's an interesting effect. You can target one spell or trap your opponent controls, destroy it if another Ancient Warrior's monster effect is activated. And almost all my lineup is Ancient Warrior, so hopefully this will come up sometime. But... You know, I actually have never played Lu Jing before, and I wonder if I can add the same Continuous Spell or Trap. Uh, oh, no, never mind. With a different name, excuse me. That would be way too broken. So, yeah, I'm not too big of a fan. I think his recycling effect is really weak, but hey, you know, welcome to the team. Liu Xuan, he's decent, I guess, especially going second. He can send cards from the hand or the field. To the graveyard to special summon an ancient warrior from the deck and hopefully that's target is going to be talta so i don't have to discard a card for his effect to activate but you know we'll see it really depends in normal duels i've also summoned Zhang yuan and you know guan yun and stuff so it really depends on the situation but you know liu xuan he's much appreciated here's another new addition to the deck that's jia one Kind of unusual effect here. Target one continuous spell or trap you control, send it to the graveyard, and then have the attack of two face-up monsters on the field. So this is going to help with, uh, you know, battle effects, which normally that's what the Ancient Warriors are pretty good at. They're good at, you know, fighting off uh, monsters and doing battle. But I've never used them once, and, you know, I'm happy to see them. And if a card your opponent controls is destroyed by battle card effect, and there's quite a few ways to do this, you can target one Ancient Warriors card in your graveyard and then add it to your hand. So another recycling effect, I think it's a little bit better than Lu Jing's because uh, it's much easier to destroy uh, cards with uh, the numerous effects we have. But, you know, I'm happy to see him. I wonder if this having effect is going to take uh, any precedence. It's going to be any important. Uh, Zhuge Kong. He's all right, especially here, especially since uh, we have quite a few Ancient Warriors uh, cards to send to the graveyard for his effect. But I mostly want to add him to my hand somehow with an Ancient Warrior card because I can special summon him for free. Zhang Yuan, he is extremely useful. I included him in the main deck again. And he's like a hand trap kind of because if my Ancient Warrior card is battling, then he can special summon himself. The opponent loses a thousand attack. And if they happen to destroy something on the opponent's field, I can target one card and destroy it. So it'll help me build advantage. Guan Yin, definitely one of the better ones. He's one of the few free special summons. So that's really nice. Zhang De, he's going to help you swarm the field. Gamma Seal, because, you know, maybe I'll see some kind of untargetable boss monster or something. And Gamma Seal would be much appreciated. Tal De, the leader. The strongest Ancient Warriors card. And I flip back and forth between including him and not including him. But, you know, the whole family is here, so Tal does welcome as well. And I wonder if I can do anything funny with his effect of destroying an opponent's monster by battle to special summon that monster. So I wonder what kind of cards I can steal. 
I got Lu Fong, of course, a free special summon if I have a Ancient Warriors with the highest attack on the field. And let's be real, I think I'm like one of the only players <laughs> that's going to be playing this uh, during the limit one. So it's highly unlikely that someone else has a higher attack Ancient Warriors on the field except for me. So he's going to be special summoning himself and destroying. And of course, as everyone knows, he will lock you into Ancient Warriors effects. So, uh, yeah, try to be careful with him. On to the spell lineup. Raigeki destroys cards, uh, destroys monsters. Harpy's Feather Duster destroys spell and trap, always needed. Monster Reborn to maybe get something useful. Triple Tactics Talent, because I'm sure there's going to be something useful uh, activated here. So, if your opponent activates a monster effect during your main phase, like an Ash Blossom or something, then I can activate one of these effects. Uh, pot of oh, I skipped over instant fusion. Instant fusion is to summon mud dragon of the swamp, so I can go into Bahamut shark potentially. Uh, pot of pot of prosperity, excuse me, for a little bit of consistency, but uh, this deck probably won't be consistent, but it is much appreciated. Swords of concealing light, a continuous spell. So I included a couple of extra continuous spells or traps to help with uh, cards like Jogong and Lu Jing to target one continuous spell and trap to the graveyard. So maybe it'll come into play. So Swords of Concealing Light, not really a card you see a lot. Uh, destroy this card during your second standby phase. When this card resolves, change all monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position and they cannot change their position. So I really like this because it's non-targeting. You can, you know, tar you can uh, make your opponent flip all their cards face down, except for links, of course. And then, you know, maybe we could do something about that. So, an interesting continuous spell or trap, I think. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions of better continuous spells or traps, please let me know. Tenki to add one of the level 4 beast warriors. I have a lot of them. Uh, three visits for consistency. Oh, this one's a pretty cool one. I wish it was a little bit better so I could include it in the, you know, the normal main deck. But basically this plays with uh, two or more different attribute ancient warriors. So this is Swan Lu Alliance, and it's a really cool artwork of uh, Swan Mo and Zhou Gong. So you can declare one attribute. Your opponent cannot activate the effects of monster they con currently control with that attribute until the end of the turn. So like a mini VFD effect, a true king of all calamities. And here we go. If your opponent special summons a monster, or you activate an Ancient Warrior's monster effect, which will happen quite often, you can make all Ancient Warrior monsters you control gain 300 attack. So that's going to help with battle. And there's a lot of, uh, you know, different Ancient Warriors cards I can activate, and this might come up. So I really like the VFD, the True King of All Calamities effect right here. I just wish it was a little bit less restrictive and a little bit easier to activate uh maybe if it was uh you know uh, two or more different attributes here but it's kind of hard to get two or more different attributes on the field in my opinion at least and i wish it could be during your opponent's turn as well but like a quick effect but yeah whatever it's okay uh borrowing of arrows uh, it's been a long time since I played this. Uh, basically, you can have one, have the attack of one card, and then add it to another. So, And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can place one Ancient Wars Continuous Spell or Trap from your hand or deck face up on the field. And there's quite a few options that I could choose. Only problem is you need two or more different attributes. I really wish it didn't say that, but... You could choose, for example, three visits to gain advantage if you special summon or normal summoning something again. Swan Lu Alliance to maybe shut off your opponent. Or the next card, East by South Winds, to maybe, maybe destroy some extra cards. This is one of the few cards in the game with a coin flip effect, and I'm kind of interested to see it in an Ancient Warriors card. Uh, I really don't like this card to be honest because it's very unreliable, but it's easier to activate if you send it to the graveyard with an effect like Swan Mo or Dogong or something. So basically, uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can activate this effect. Your opponent can act activate cards or effects in response to the activation of your Ancient Warriors cards, and then they basically become 
battle hungry behemoths and monsters. When this card declares an attack, destroy one card your opponent controls. So, very nice. Non-targeting. Called by the grave. You need it. Infinite Impermanence, of course. One of the hand traps. Tri-Brigade Revolt, potentially, with the Tri-Brigade Engine. Solemn Judgment. It's a good card. Phoenix Chain is another continuous spiller trap. So, maybe I could use it to activate one of the effects here. Oh, here's a cool one. Defense of Changban. This is going to be uh, Dong the holding off Tao Tao's whole army. So this is one of the battle traps for Ancient Warriors. Uh, so maybe we'll see it in, in action. If your Ancient Warriors monster battles, your opponent cannot activate any spell or traps until the end of the damage step. So it's like a stun effect. And at the start of your opponent's battle phase, hmm, your opponent's battle phase, send this face up card from the spell and trap, monster your opponent controls, Cannot target Ancient Warriors monster for attack this turn. That's a pretty interesting effect. Maybe it'll potentially stop an OTK, or maybe it'll protect my guys from battle for one turn. Uh, the second effect is a little bit more useful. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can banish this card from the graveyard. Special summon an Ancient Warriors monster from a deck. I feel like this card would be much more useful in the graveyard because of the second effect. So you could summon Salda or Quan Yun or something and really surprise your opponent. So I really like that. I wish the battle effect was a little bit better. Maybe it make maybe it could make my cards a little bit stronger. Maybe they could not be destroyed by battle or card effect or something. But it is what it is. And finally, this is the interesting one that creates a token. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do with a token, but it also protects from battle. Because if an Ancient Warrior card would be destroyed by battle, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. And once per turn... Uh, if your opponent can special summons a monster, I can special summon an Ancient Warrior token. So maybe I could be like a Sword Soul for a little bit. And when a card or effect is activated that targets an Ancient Warrior monster on the field, you can banish this card from a graveyard and negate the activation. So both of these cards are a little bit more useful in the graveyard. But eh, the battle effects are okay, I guess. They're okay. You know, I'll accept them. All right, so that's the main deck. Let's take a look at the extra deck. Mud Dragon of the Swamp for instant fusion, potentially with Swan Mo, Zhou Gong, or Lu Jing for the Bahamut Shark and Totally Awesome Place. Uh, Nature Exterior with Cyberstein. The Toad Package with Totally Awesome Bahamut Shark. I got the Zodiac Package with Dryden and Borbo. Boguska, one of my favorite rank fours. For uh, stalling, potentially, because I can predict a lot of bricks with a lot of different decks. Time 3 for Doer, another one of my favorite uh, level 4s. I don't think he works as well in this deck compared to others, but hey, I really like him. Uh, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, he requires two level 7s. That's going to be on the off chance I have Guan Yun and Zhang De, and uh, I think that's it. So maybe if they're both on the field, I could summon Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. He's a little bit difficult to get rid of if he has Xyz material. And as soon as your opponent uh, activates a card or effect, immediately inflict 500 damage. So maybe I could help burn him. You know, burn him and uh, get rid of some of his life points. The second effect is never going to come up because I don't have any Red Eyes normal monsters. So... Difficult to get rid of and can inflict some burn. Zeus, of course, for all the XEs I have. I really wish I had a couple more uh, choices for Ancient Warriors links. I wish they would release some more. But here's Double Dragon Lord. Everyone knows him and loves him. Uh, Ferret and Bear Brum for the Tri Brigade engine. And Rugal, of course. And Shireg. So that is my mini deck profile for the Limit 1 Ancient Warrior Tri Brigade deck. I'm very excited to play this. I can already imagine the nail-biting matches because of both opponents only playing one copies of their most important card. So they're going to have to pray and hope for the best and try to get the card they need to start their plays. For me, that's definitely going to be like a 10 Goldfish or maybe Swan Mo or possibly this guy, Jogong. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So I'm really excited to be able to play this deck. Uh, please let me know if there's any improvements I could add or any other things I could do to make this better. I would love to hear some feedback for you guys. I know I've been really busy uh, in the past couple weeks. I haven't been posting as much as I used to. 
but I'm still excited for the deck. I'm really passionate about the deck. I'm going to make it work. And I would love to see you guys, uh, you know, chit chat in the comments and talk to me for a little bit. Uh, you can also show off your own decks. It doesn't have to be Ancient Warriors. So please do what you like. Do what you like. So thank you, my friends. Uh, I'm going to probably create a Discord in the future so we can have some more discussion about this. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later.